Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and I'm excited to say it's finally here. The Vossteed Nightshade is finally here, and I will link everything I can down in, in the description. I should have a discount code, f you know, so you guys can, can get a good discount. So definitely check out the description. Now, the Bellamy is not here yet, but it should be here tomorrow probably. Um, but I'll tell you what, man, this far exceeded my expectations because the prototype i love the prototype the prototype was amazing and if you did not see my full review i'm gonna put a little card right up here in the corner watch my full review because i loved it i loved the prototype and this is done even better m390 steel instead of n690 we have a crowned spine that's very well done the jimping is so perfect. We're going to look at the packaging here in a second because it's very, very nice packaging. Nice and thin behind the edge. Copper bolsters with really well done micarta. This is the type of micarta that's not going to patina. It is a polished micarta, so it should stay basically the same way forever, you know, pretty much. Titanium clip with flat screws that's partially inset. It's not reversible. Um, and the detent on this is perfection. They got the perfect jimping. I love that jimping. Exact type of jimping you want on a flipper tab. You can get, you can get right here at the end if you want or cover the whole thing. It doesn't matter. It just fires out. And then the closing action, when you close it, the way the detent pulls it in, feels like really good quality i i can't put it into words exactly what happens but i can feel the solidness of it when it goes into the uh detent the action is so good on this i can even reverse flick it now in my full review, I show how useful this blade shape is. Now, the designer told me that he mixed a kukri with a shillin blade shape, basically. Now, for EDC, looking at it, you know, you're like, man, I don't know. But the way it bends like this, basically what it does is it's always aiming at what you want to cut. So, say if you want to open up a box, you can cut the tape. It's, the tip is aiming at the, the, you know, the exact place you want to cut. If you want to cut around the back side of something... It's aiming at what you want, the side, the front, like it's always aiming at what you want. And it's so useful. Say if you want to break down some cardboard, it traps the blade into the cut. If you want to cut straps, you can go up and around and grab a strap. You can grab the strap with the blade and then it traps the strap into the edge. It's so useful for EDC. I cannot express how useful this is. Now, it's not the most comfortable in the hand, but it's still nice and comfortable. It works. Um, I do feel the clip a little bit. It is a really good thickness and width, like it's not, but it's not really beefy. So, um, it, it, like I said, it's comfortable in the hand, but not the most comfortable. Now you can take advantage of putting your finger over the choice or over the flipper tab if you want to do some heavy duty push cuts. The pinch grip is really nice. Um, the spine being, being crowned the way it is, it's nice and comfortable. I love the way they did the pivot. It's completely different than the prototype T8 hardware, except for the clip. And then this screw on both sides, but, uh, the body screws are all T8 hardware. This is really nice. I'm really happy about this. Um, now like I said, I already did a full review on it, and the only thing that would really change is that it's even better. <laughs> That's it. Let's look at the box really quick. The packaging is really nice. They give you a metal um, can with a pouch inside, regular pouch, and then you have your card that gives you the information inside. And don't forget, guys, I'm going to link whatever I can down in the description for you guys. And the, the Bellamy should be here any day. So as soon as it gets here, I will show you guys. I know a lot of you are really excited about the Bellamy. Um, I'm excited about both of them. Both of them are awesome. But yes, I'm most excited about the Bellamy. But even this one, though, it's so unique and so useful. Once you get it, 
you realize just how exceptional this is as, as an EDC. Just how great this blade shape is, the grind is, how good it cuts. And Kaiser is the one doing the OEM work. So the last couple times I've tested Kaiser's M390, it was good. So I'm happy with their M390 as of right now. Um, I didn't do a controlled test, but I didn't feel anything bad. It took a great edge. This thing has such nice sounds. The sound of it when it... It's probably not going to come over the mic, but it has a really good sound. But, yeah. Um, it's just... It, it's such a useful blade shape grind and... Um, you know, the materials are really nice and it, it just has so much going for it. That's not typical. You know, we're used to seeing kind of the same stuff over and over and this stirs it up a bit without losing any usefulness. It actually lifts up the usefulness. Now I know it might not be the prettiest, but to me, this is because I've used it and because I've seen how useful it is, it, it looks beautiful to me. And I like that it's unique. I like that it's different. And, you know, like I said, I have tested their M390 quite a bit. And, you know, I, like I said, I didn't do a controlled test or anything. But nothing ever stood out to me like this is bad M390. This doesn't feel good. It always felt good on the stone. It always deburred really good. It always took a, an incredibly sharp edge. So I, I'm really happy about this. And like I said, I will link everything I possibly can down into the description for you guys. And yeah, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.